Hi fellow Ugandans at home and abroad I salute you and I thank you for standing with us in the struggle to better our country I know I can never thank you enough I also want to send my message of sympathy to the comrades who continue to suffer in the hospitals in the prisons and to also send a condolence message to the families of the comrades that we lost in the struggle recently may their souls rest in eternal peace i decided to send this message ladies and gentlemen to answer the many questions that have been coming from our friends from our allies and yes from those who are skeptical they are asking what is people power or what do we stand for or why do we continue to struggle i know this question will need a longer explanation and yes when i come back home this Thursday I will endeavor to explain further but most importantly I want to make it clear that people power is not about Bobby Wine or anybody else for that matter people power is you people power is me people power is all of us people power are all those people that are struggling to have a better country to have a country that makes sense for them I am only one of the more than 40 million Ugandans who continue to be oppressed so when i speak i am only trying to echo the voice of millions and millions of ugandans that continue to suffer i also want to make it clear that we are not a violent group of people we despise violence and we are not associated with violence whatsoever i've been telling you right from the beginning that we should be peaceful but assertive I know President Museveni and his lieutenants have tried so much to project us as a violent group so that they can respond to us with violence. They have tried to twist everything we say to make it sound like a call for violence. I know they will plant many people, many criminals among us to throw stones so that they can respond to us with bullets. And I also have information that they have printed many red t-shirts with the word people power so that they can send out those criminals to cause chaos and later on blame it on us. But I know, my brothers and sisters, that you know how to deal with criminals, so I will leave that to you. I am coming back this Thursday, and I continue to encourage you to keep struggling for a better Uganda, to stand confident, and to always remember that the people we are scared of are actually very scared of us. They don't know how to deal with a united group. They don't know how to deal with us. They've never seen so many young people speaking with one voice. So the more we stand together, the more we stay together, the more we project what is good and reject what is bad, it's the more we are going to continue positively representing our country. I'll see you when I come back home this Thursday and we continue to work together for a better Uganda that we will all be proud of. I thank you and I send you positive vibes. People power, our power. Our power, people power. For God and my country.